Hi, after June 2022, all Kubernetes certifications like CKA, CKAD, CKS are given on the new PSI browser, which is a remote desktop connection to a browser. Now, I recently gave CKA exam on this browser on November 25th, and I also experienced a similar situation which I had read online by most of my fellow community members who gave the certification is that the browser is really slow and sometimes may also disconnect. Now in this video, I'm going to tell a real time story which I faced when I gave this exam and a couple of ways to troubleshoot this scenario while you're giving an exam and to stay calm because it happens that when you're giving an exam and if your browser disconnects in between, you may try to get panic and may not be able to answer all the questions correctly. So stay calm and watch the remaining video to understand how you can troubleshoot the situation when you face a disconnection or a slowness of this PSI browser for your CNCF or Linux Foundation related exam. So let's get started. The first thing, first thing you can do is to keep a track of their hotline number, which is available on the top of your screen when you start giving the exam and also available on their FAQ page. The PSI browser FAQ page has this number and I'll also put this number below so that you can take a look and save it beforehand with you. The second thing that you can do is to install the software called anydesk.com. Now this particular software you can install from anydesk.com website is a remote session to your desktop so the person who is a support agent connected to you while trying to troubleshoot may want you to install this software on your machine it could be a mac or a windows machine which you're using and they would want to connect with you so installing it beforehand would be a good thing to do and once you install there will be a nine digit code displayed on the top of your screen on this app just make sure to note it down and send that number to the support agent on their email id which they would be sharing with you now in this way they will try to connect to your machine and try to troubleshoot some basic settings of your machine to understand and help you get started again with your psi browser and with your exam eventually third thing and this could be tried only when the first two are not working that is if you are unable to connect to them on their hotline number or unable to get a resolution with the remote session now this is the third thing and this happened with me you have to log a ticket with Linux Foundation training support. So this happens when anything with the PSI team is not working uh, in your favor. You have to go to the Linux Foundation, which is the parent organization, which is trying to have this exam via PSI browser uh, website, right? So I also created a ticket with them and they helped me resolve this situation within, I think after creating a ticket, in 15 to 20 minutes but their usual SLA is one to two days and some of my colleagues who also face this situation were able to get their query resolved in 48 hours so please uh, be patient and keep on checking on your ticket if you face this situation so I hope these things would help you and firstly I hope you should not face such situation while you're giving exam but in case due to slowness or some bandwidth issue you're unable to or you're internet goes away so you're you'll be disconnected you're not able to come back on your own with some basic troubleshooting these are the three things that you can do and uh, please let me know if you know any other way with which you resolve the situation of yours with during the exam and i'll be happy to know that and pass that information to others so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching